Good morning. I am sharing with you a vlog. Staying at home on a Saturday with my little family. We've just got some daily tasks to do and my little one's playing in her bouncer in the background here. I've always got a little laundry going right away in the morning on Saturdays. Actually a lot of days when I'm home. Um, it is 8 o'clock. We slept in a little bit today. Normally for work I get up at 5.30 so it's nice to sometimes sleep in when the little one lets us. So um, it should be a good day. It is freezing cold out. It is like negative 20 with a wind chill. So it's day to stay inside, get some cleaning and tidying and dusting and all that good stuff done. And this is always a question to ask yourself, how long do you keep your Christmas decorations up? So look, we have our Christmas cards still up and my Christmas tree in the kitchen. And what is today? January 11th? Yep. So, oh, and my Christmas tree out in the living room still up. So the question is, how long do you take your, or leave your Christmas decorations up? I normally will have it down about now, but I've not really had time. So I will probably leave it up until next weekend when I actually have time to take it down, or the next week. Um, so, if you're like me, I just love the glow of the lights. Uh, my big tree is still up out there. I just think it makes it so inviting and cozy on these cold winter days. Oh, hi honey. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some breakfast going for us and get the day started. I'm gonna clean up the breakfast dishes and listen to my two favorite people. Not that way. <laughs> my cutie on the floor. Yeah. Hi, honey. Waving her drumstick. She's gonna be a little drummer. Little drummer girl.
Okay, the bed is made for the most part. I have to wait to put the pillowcases back on after they go through the wash. But we've had this stack here of stuff since we went to my parents' for Christmas. I just need to organize it, try some clothes on, um, if we need to return some items or not, and Blaze does too. So um, we'll put, I'll put it in a different pile or try some of the stuff on and just get it off of this chair. to have yes I know it's the new year and you're supposed to watch your weight and all that but I'm very content with what weight I am at after having the video I actually lost some weight so it's okay to splurge every once in a while just in moderation and blaze and I have not been too bad about eating it it's lasted us longer than it did last year gotta tell you that so I'm gonna have some um, whole milk and some stevia in this cup of coffee and keep working I truly enjoy my coffee every day. Are you feel excited about your food? It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. Well, it is a little after 12. Nevea is down for her afternoon nap. And I am going to whip up a mock olive garden salad. We're going to some friends for supper tonight and I am bringing the salad. Um, I made some homemade croutons, never made those before. I had some old bread I needed to use up. And then we're just gonna have some Aldi pizza for lunch. Normally on Friday nights we have it, but last night I had to take tickets at our um, school's basketball game. So I wasn't home till like nine. But these Aldi pizzas are like six bucks and they're good. They're so good. They're probably not super healthy, but we love the Supreme. So once a week I can handle eating that because it's got lots of veggies on it, right? Anyways, um, I have my croutons. A few are a little overdone, but I tasted them. They taste pretty good. And then a sweet potato for Nevea to cook or that I cooked up. And then, yeah, the pizza. Yeah, I'll show you that recipe too and I'll let you know if it turns out okay or not because I'm not doing everything like the Olive Garden salad does. So I'm going to get making that and we'll probably eat some salad with the pizza too. <laughs> dressing is made croutons will go in a container to take and the tomatoes will go in a container to make so the dressings like olive oil mayonnaise salt and pepper garlic italian seasoning lemon juice and that's about it so it tastes really good already it'll go on here i didn't have pepperoncinis i think that's how you say it. so i just cut up some uh red peppers and put those in there and yeah i think that's it so Hope it tastes good. It should. I love salad, so it should taste good. Um, our lunch is done. I got more dishes to do. I might leave those for a little bit. Um, 
My daughter only took a 20 minute nap. She's teething again, so it's kind of like hit or miss if she naps really well. So she's really tired, just playing on the floor. I might try to put her down again, we'll see. But I need a shower before we go because I don't have blow dryers. So I want to let my hair dry naturally too. And um, I want to get to, I'll show you. Okay, I want to get to this stuff here because that was gifts for Nevea from my parents for Christmas. And I just filled that container and brought it home and haven't looked at it since. So it's just been sitting here in my music room area taking up space and I need to organize it. I also want to um, style those books and style this area right here again. Um, I took down the Christmas stuff a little while ago and then some more of it today. Only thing left up are my trees. So those are really bare right now. I need to change the peace, hope, and joy. Um, I also want to style and redecorate up there on that shelf. I left some of the wintry stuff still. But yeah, when you take stuff down, you gotta have time to put other things back up and to fill that space. book fan but here on the side you can see the um, image of whatever storybook this is but that's okay I do like it it's very simple um, kind of clean just with a little faux topiary that I made a long time ago in a DIY so we'll see um, now I'm gonna go to my wire baskets on the wall Here's what I did. I have not really done a lot of color over here before, but I'm really loving this. We got that globe from Blaze's grandma for Christmas, 
And I just thought I would put my wreath up there that I normally have above my window at the piano. An old candlestick, a little DIY I made once a long time ago. And then books, of course, pine cone. I just like it. I thought I liked the lighter color, but I kind of like that dark um, color scheme going on with a little bit of white. So yeah, that's how that is gonna be, I think, for a while. Well, we were packing up, getting ready to go to our friends. Blaze and Avea are playing for a little bit. I have yeah. her in her pajamas. Because, oops, it's not focusing. There we go. Because she will be going to bed relatively soon after we get there. She's an early to sleeper. We had the Vikings game on and they were losing in the third quarter. It's okay. Yeah, it is okay. But my it's salad turned out really well. And we're going to get her in the car seat and go. So it is Sunday now after church. It's about 1.30. I did not finish my vlog last night. We went to our friend's house and we're there way later than I expected to be. Um, and then Blaze and I stayed up talking till like 11.45 after we put Nevaeh back down. So um, the evening just didn't go quite as I expected it to. Had some conversations with the friends and had a really good time, but also some difficult conversations. But I think that truly makes good friends is having difficult conversations. So anyways, I just didn't feel like picking up my camera to finish my vlog. And so hope you understand. But anyways, I never got the laundry folded either, so I'm going to do that today. Uh, maybe watch a Hallmark movie or mystery this afternoon while Nevaeh is napping. I still have to do a few dishes, but I wanted to just end the vlog and hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And if you have not subscribed, if you're new, you like these type of videos, you like motherhood, simple and thrifted living, then I would love to have you join my YouTube community. Um, give it a thumbs up as well if you have not done that because then I know you like these videos. So anyways, I will talk with you in my next video. All right, bye.